Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 56 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. There we have a RLC circuit. See, the quantity about L, R, and C is given, so we can write it there. And then the circuit, this circuit, we know the frequency is given. And the root mean square voltage is given at there. Now, first one, write down the root mean square current. So very straightforward, we can write down the equation for root mean squared current as the voltage, root mean squared voltage divided by impedance, right? And this impedance is decided by R, inductance and capacitance. Mm -hmm. And because this is one, we have the L. RC circuit, so we will need to consider the phase shift, right? Phase shift is inductance minus the capacitance. See, and then the inductance and the capacitance are functions of the frequency F and the LC, right? So we can write input is the inductance and the capacitance in the impedance equation. Look like this one. Finally, we can get the equation for the root mean square current in this term. Mm -hmm. Input all the given quantities, you can get answer there. The second part is find the phase angle. As we can get from the test book, the definition for phase angle is we get the arc tangent with the phase shift, the inductance minus capacitance divided by resistance R, right? Input the inductance and the capacitance. See, we get the term for the phase angle. Look like this one. And then input the given quantities. You can get answer there. The next one is find the power consumed by the circuit. See, there we can consider the root mean squared current squared times R. Right, this is a very straightforward or very similar to the Ohm's law, right? Ohm's law tell you the current I squared times R. This is omnic devices. By there, we can think for RLC circuit, we take this current as root mean square current, right? And then we input all the given quantity, get answer there. Thank you.